Winter of 247 BC. We are on turn... Let's find out. 125. Turn 125. Our expansion was slow at first, but is now excelling rapidly. Accelerating very quick, taking almost one settlement per turn. We don't really have a whole lot of moves to do here, because this is right after the last video. However, I guess we should upgrade Kasha. Kasha has certainly earned himself a uh, the the right to be the governor of this province, so I think he will. Probably going to go live in uh, Ankara from now on. Uh, for the time being, I think we will merge out these units. You can keep your cav, I suppose. Um, I don't know. I don't want him to keep everything. We don't need all of this. But maybe you can keep this as a as a defensive force for a while. I, I think that would be fair. Next turn we'll move you out and you can live in Ankara for, for the rest of your life, basically. Uh, anyone else to upgrade? Any other major moves to do? I don't feel that is the case. Let us end the turn. Our war chest is kind of hovering around like the 70 to 80,000. Dipping into the 60s. Certainly winter doesn't help. It is not profitable. But that's not bad considering our rate of expansion. Buildings are expensive. I think you get refunded for tearing down buildings, but if you're going to convert them, you don't get that money back. So sometimes for profit, I feel like it's better if, you know, they have a bunch of tier 3 buildings, just tear them down, start over. But of course, you know, you, you don't get nearly the same level of profit. But at the same time, you don't have to deal with nearly the same level of food consumption or public order issues that come with those larger scale buildings. So it's a question of, you know, a better economy faster or public order. No, I'm not joining a war against Rome right now. Soon. Soon TM, but not right now. Bit slow on the end turn timer here, man. I always think there's reforms coming, but last time it lagged like this, there wasn't one. Um, I'm not sure what we're researching. Probably civil progress. Oh, well, I should have gone for military. Oh, well. I'm not that worried about it. So it's just that we researched uh, this. Oh, yeah. So we are paying more more for our uh, units. But we're making them better. And we're going up for uh, even better missile units, which is ridiculous. Oh, that and that has 10% battle run speed. Attached to that top level one, which is going to be insane for us. So yeah, I didn't even notice the ten percent last time I uh, when I started researching it. I think this turn we will go ahead and take uh, our Samosada. By the way, I meant to liberate this, and I'm glad I didn't because I did not notice it was part of Antioch, which is really funny. Uh, small oversights I have sometimes. I thought I tore that down at the end of last episode. Whatever, not important. Not important. We'll go ahead and move you to live at Ankria, Ankara in case uh, we have any issues with Pergamon. We can quickly build up a defense. And of course that makes uh, Ankara basically inviolable once they have their garrison ready. So that'll be good. We'll take our Somasada this turn and I believe we will liberate this whole province. I'm not really interested in controlling uh, Bithynia nor uh, Hyazdan. Now it's going to be another quick battle. Although they have some... <laughs> they have a lot of... Uh... Or wait, what are those? Citizen Militia. Oh, these are Citizen Militia, but they have the uh, the icons for the... Uh, Ectromoi Hoplites. The fast ones. Interesting. Shared icons. So Tushpa is part of that province. Okay, yeah, so we really do want to go for... Uh... The Mata province, I think, with uh, with Yes Man here. Damn, that's a long name. Not sure what we're gonna encounter. Kolkis still, still getting just worn down over time. I do think it is probably time to go ahead and take care of them. We'll hire ourselves a cav unit and another archer. Now it'll be a 23 versus 24. However, they are like half strength or less across their whole board, whole army, so. Let's get him out of here. Knock him out. 
Will I fight this manually? I mean, I could auto-resolve this, but these guys have been a thorn in my side for so long, and I want to see these levy dudes do their business. Interesting map. Looks like it's gonna the elevation is gonna be weird east-west. Yeah. Uh, not too bad. Okay, we'll just come at them from from over the ridge, I think. Or just straight on. Straight on will be fine. We'll still have good angles. Okay. So we have our Mesopotamian levees. Oh, just a big, freaking huge. We're gonna double line those. That's a, that's ridiculous. There's way too many of you. <laughs> what do they look like? I don't think I've looked at these dudes before. Yeah, about what you'd expect. Levies. Damn peasants. Group two will be the archers. I'll position them behind the levies. We'll let the levies soak up some missile fire, however much there is. <laughs> Not that much, really. Uh, our Ethiopian swordsmen can come around the left flank. They're much more valuable since they are actual citizens. No need to risk um, Sagdodonakos. <laughs> no need to risk you. And we'll have this um, Mesopotamian cavalry on the right flank to do something. Probably to pressure archers. So, With that in mind, I'll actually kind of hide you behind this dune. Not sure if they're actually hidden. They should be hidden, you know? Like... There's no way anyone can see them there, but, you know, it's not always logical. Everyone move up. Nothing for it. Okay, so they are hidden. Well, I'm going to unhide you, basically, because I want you to be out here, ready to deal with the archers as they run back. Okay, we're already in range. Just need you dudes to actually start shooting. It's one thing that irritates me. I'm gonna pause it for a sec. One thing that irritates me about Total War in general is how units have to like form themselves up before they're willing to start shooting. Like, no, no, no. I have your unit standing here. Start killing people, please. Like, the time you have to wait for that stuff bothers me so much. I don't know if it's a, a quirk of Total War, or if it's just a, a balancing thing. You know, your units can't be so responsive, and it's not its not a realism thing. That I, I think that's pretty obvious. It's not intentional in that sense. Total War doesn't exactly strive to be all that accurate. Historical inspired. You guys can just stand there and take it, honestly. Archers. So are my archers doing the things I need them to do? Not really. These adorable little militia units. <laughs> Poor guys. No idea what's coming. Shoot some jabs at the general. Insult him. Be a terrible way to go for a general. General equivalent of dying on the toilet. <laughs> Going out like Pierce. <laughs> getting a... Getting a rock thrown at your head. Alright, let's flank. We'll reinforce the lines now. Our poor levies who may have never seen combat before. Yeah, kind of expected the general to respond there, but uh, he's outnumbered by a lot. <laughs> Unless he can kill four men for every one of mine. And here comes the flank. The giant fist. These guys are screwed. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Kick his butt! Ready. What are your orders? Ready. 
Yep, their general's down. He's not dead, though. I don't want their army to come back, dang it. Is he still in there? Why aren't they moving? What are you guys doing? They're fighting no one. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what were you doing? I don't understand. Okay, whatever. Help out there. They, they really are holding longer than I expected, to be honest with you. Power of hoplites, I guess. 43 kills on those ones. Well, we are just levies. There goes those archers. Now get those ones. Like, how are these dudes holding out? <laughs> Come on. Here. Like, help. Be useful, damn it. Not sure why they aren't shooting people in the first place, honestly. Oh, we don't have an angle. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Find one. There's army losses. Uh, just end the battle. Yeah, I was gonna say pretty pretty unlikely that they would actually survive and come back. Swordsman doing the lion's share of the work along with the cab. That's why I hired him. I mean, you could see like with if I had just gone in with those levies and just a few archers. I mean, I probably could have still pulled out a victory, but it, it wouldn't have been as assured. Waiting for more orders. I like your shield. Hell yeah. I hate their hats, though. Those hats are so unfashionable. Okay, let's go ahead and merge these out. Uh, I will leave you with... Four archers. I or just I'll just leave you with two archers. We'll get rid of the mercenaries. They're more expensive. Uh, I'll get rid of the cab. It's expensive, and I guess I'll leave you with this force. Mm, total supply chains of one, though. I want them to have some defenses because I am very concerned about this eventually falling under attack. And in fact, I think I will actually upgrade this maybe. Two African horsemen, three African spearmen, two African horsemen, two African spearmen. It's not worth it to upgrade this. Not with the population as it is. I'm even considering cutting taxes to this area to to deal with the public order and supply issues and let the, the people of the province replenish a little. I'll get rid of a few levies. There you go. That's a little bit better on recovering supplies. Not great. Uh, we're just going to have to avoid that region for a while for warfare. Just let it, let it recover as much as we can. Let's deal with uh, our Samosata real quick. I need to remember to liberate. Liberate, liberate. Do not occupy this. Lysander, listen to me. Liberate. <laughs> Dude, some of our swordsmen are getting pretty darn experienced. Two silver chevrons on those. Archers... I mean, yeah, <laughs> obviously. They were never going to have an issue with experience. Well, I think we do our patented tactic of just stacking right the fuck up in front of them. And uh, we'll have a swordsman just, you know, ready to rush up. Uh, and this time we will actually have the spearmen ready to back them. Because I would rather the spearmen take the heavy fighting. It's a weird way to do it. Let's just have them all as part of group two. Um, if you guys can maybe draw some attention away, I'd be okay with that. And we'll do the same thing, kind of thing over here on this side. Maybe draw some attention away from the front. Split their forces up a little bit. We'll keep zero out here. That's fine. Baggage train, you can chill in the back. Okay. Yep, that worked. They wasted some forces over here, meaning my archers will have an even easier time of just obliterating these units. <laughs> the mist of blood 
It's my god. And they have great shields, so that definitely helps, but man, it does not help enough. Not against all that. Order, my lord. Order, my lord. Yeah, they're never gonna touch us. So much range. I believe you do take an accuracy penalty if you're fighting, like if you're shooting at the very edge of your range. So even having more range for people that are already in your range is better because you'll be more accurate. Uh, don't don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's still a thing. At the ready. No way. I was gonna say, no way they're gonna make it to us. <laughs> we are at your Forcing my painted warriors to run away. Heresy. Missiles <laughs> at your command. Kill the skies. Our okay, I need you guys to shoot archers. Because archers are actually gonna cause casualties. Archers. Stop being on skirmish mode. I, I need you to do your jobs, not run away. Orders, my lord. Yeah, one volley is enough for, <laughs> for the archers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Next volley. Okay, now you can pull back. Where's the music? Why is it so quiet? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> I had to turn it on and off again. What is this, IT? Jeez. Not even getting to us. Not gonna do as well against these because they're shielded. Good shields too for for arrows. Pretty obvious they're trying to defend against arrows with those. I would not mind you killing their general. We could just rush up our swords at this point. Painted Warriors are done. They've done their thing. I think they took some casualties here. Unfortunate. You can see how much of an effect uh, units moving through your archers has on them being able to shoot. Now they're just kind of plinking at them instead of, you know, firing organized volleys. You'll see, like, the next volley or so will probably be much more complete. Yep, there they go. Are they already taking army losses? No, just outnumbered <laughs> morale loss. Okay. And there's army losses. <laughs> oh, man. So routine. Yeah. That battle took almost as long to, to line up the units as it did to do other stuff. Um, were you guys killing routing units? How did you guys get kills? They didn't rush out at them, did they? 67 kills? What? I should pay more attention. Apparently, uh, they were doing stuff. But it can't have been that they were rushed, because if they were rushed, these chariots wouldn't be getting kills. They'd be dying. Chariots are only valuable on the chart. Why am I dumb? Oh man. Oh fuck me. I don't want it. <laughs> Damn it. I don't want it. Shit. Now I have to decide if I want to replay two battles or not. When when was this quick save? Hang on. Please tell me this quick save was after the first battle. Okay, game noises. 
Okay, we'll just auto resolve this time. <laughs> Fuck it. The result is the same. Your next command, my lord. Son of a bitch. Shaking my damn head, man. Shaking my damn head. I don't want to auto-resolve because I'm scared of uh, taking unnecessary losses. Especially across important units. Sometimes the game be like, Oh, your general decided to do a suicide charge and they lost half of their unit. As you guys know, these are not new complaints. Alright. Let's do it real quick. <clears throat> Sorry. Or am I? All right, uh, you here, you, in fact, you can be further away to be safer because most of the units you're going to shoot are going to be in this arc anyways. Uh, we'll do this quick. This is going to take even less time. The organization is all fucky because I didn't organize it the way I normally do. Whatever, man. Doesn't matter. Oh, that's ugly. Mm-hmm. Do you want those first shots to go into those hoplites so they can't reach us? We'll focus fire each other one though. And warrior should finish off the rest of those hoplites, I'm pretty sure. Don't skirmish. Don't skirmish. If you go into melee with them, you fucking go into melee with them, I don't care. Do you damn gerbs. Uh-huh. One more volley, please. Even more efficiently, to be honest. Even more efficient. I'm okay with it. Mostly out of ammo already. Okay. Get out. They're coming at us at a slightly different order than last time, but it's not gonna matter. They should take army losses now. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to keep my, my little paws off the damn Occupy button this time, I hope. I have had battles before where I get caught, so caught up I do it like two times. All right, we're going to hit the button on the right side of the UI this time. As you command. <sighs> <laughs> We've taken so few casualties, we don't even need to replenish. It's nice. Good stuff. Azot Nobles, huh? Cool. Ooh. Rank 9 for, for Zira here. What do I want you to have? Probably battle battle movement speed. That seems really powerful for this force. We're going to go with that. So 9% here. And then when we finish out the tech in 19 turns, we'll have another 10% for an additional 19% run speed. <laughs> for our army, where we already have our archers going at five move speed, which is hilarious. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. 
So, what are these guys now? Poker Hick. What you are is my trade partner. Are yours to enjoy. First, though, we had heard mm -mm, of 400 bucks. Good stuff. And we'll we'll give a ooh. That's a question. Do I want to move on? Do I want to do Tushpa or do I want to do Koran next turn? I think uh it's going to be about the same efficiency either way. Probably Tushpa just to make sure we knock out any major uh, settlement of... Um... No, actually. No, 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 no. Because we're liberating everything here, right? So we're not replenishing. So what I want to do is end the battles near somewhere I can replenish, which will be Edessa, I think. They don't have much, but they have... Between them and Hatra, there's enough forces here to replenish the armies, I think. So we'll we'll loop around north and northeast. That'll work. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll grab Trapezus in the meantime. However, I'm thinking these two... Like, I'm going to build three different allies around them. So I feel like they'll be able to handle themselves just fine. Probably not even need my support, really. Okay. Now that I've done that dumb stuff, do I have any moves left this turn? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's time to take Muscat back. Let's do it. <laughs> Several battles this video. Not maybe in the way you thought. Okay. They've only got like six units, but let's get it over with real, real quick. I don't want to take losses. You know how it is. Oh, I like how this army is actually kind of up to date on its painted warriors. I'd like one more painted warrior. Right? They only have seven. I want eight. Yeah. Well, this is an, kind of an odd design. Not very ideal for my archers and stuff. With all the cover from the buildings. Oh man, yeah, I wish Zira had this force. Although, again, th these hoplites are so weird. I don't know... Mm, I don't know. I want another three speed unit, I think. Like, even just another type of like swordsman unit would be fine, I think. Oh, and you don't have the nice elephants either, right? Because you've been campaigning elsewhere. They're still good, though. They're still good, boys. Yes, they are. Alright, let's get this crap over with. ASAP as possible. There's no way they're going to reach us. Not even a chance. local townsfolk. Potentially more dangerous just because they're fast. And they're dead. Yeah. Cassander. Greek hoplites. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> As your unit disappears into a, a, a mist of red. Pain of Warriors are out of ammo. How much range do these guys have? 117. About uh, three quarters as much as an archer has. That's hilarious. Can you guys reach? They have army losses, but... Or no, they're just outnumbered. Nice, you guys can actually fire over the rooftops. Cool. Alright, we good? We good. They had, a, they had an assault at Hexaries here? Oh yeah, they had a, a little fleet. That's right. Okay. So now, query, do we want to, like, move across the ocean and stop them from doing this a second time? Do we want to build a small counter fleet? I, probably not, because we don't have big enough boats to counter even transport ships, in my opinion. Take this back. We lost all of our population because of the uh, cultural stuff. We're not quite Egyptian here yet. We're partially desert nomadic. That's uh, partially because we decided to subjugate these dudes. We might also take a bunch of desert attrition next turn. That would suck, but it's possible.
Okay. So, what do I think they're gonna do? Probably gonna move right back to Harmozia, maybe move west into Gore. I need to know where that other army went too. Tapura, they're so well defended over here. Okay. We probably let these rebel and then liberate them. We start forming essentially a buffer line like this. Our, our sort of cutoff is like Mesopotamia, and we buffer everything over here with, you know, liberated states, client states, satrapies, that, you know, that sort of thing. And then we, once we have that very, very secure, and I'm feeling like good about this region and our trade partners and military allies, and I'm not so worried about, you know, the big empires, we basically have like one big force here to deal with anything over here. We have some garrisons here to deal with any potential issues like Pergamon. And then we finally start looking at a war with Rome. That's what I think. And then we end the campaign on that. So we're thinking, basically, <laughs> I'm planning out the series at this point. I'm thinking like maybe, yeah, maybe 30 more videos. Maybe, maybe 40. This is, this is a long, this is a long series. <sighs> and certainly not particularly good for the channel because the reality of any series, if you look at the views, it's uh, every single channel on every single every single uh, YouTube channel on every single playlist is that the first two, three videos have tons of views and then every other video has less and less after it forever and ever and you know, people catch up at, with it over time. It's slow burner stuff. It's not stuff you do if you want to make money on YouTube, which I don't. But, uh, you know, there might be like three people that see the end of the series. That's okay. It is what it is. It ain't gonna stop me because I started this series with the goal of just showing a whole campaign to everyone and I wanted to show people a campaign that maybe someone hasn't tried yet and I think it's been great. The, the archers and this faction are so fun. Really, if you're like a Chosokabe fan from uh, Shogun 2, this is your faction. Surprisingly a lot of fun to not use siege equipment. That's the big expectation I had is that not having siege equipment would suck, but it's actually been great been having a great time with this campaign man don't know what i'm gonna do for the next one but i guess we'll find out also pergamon is strong honestly anyways folks that's all i got for this time i'll see you on the next one later